this goes to the first question that I'm going to pull out here, and that's from Spurs Nation. Do you think Luca should start next year at power forward instead of overpaying for Collins and Markin? Man, I, I would say I would put my mo my money on yes, on that being yes, and that actually being a thing that the Spurs look to do because the Spurs are smart in that way. They're like, look, we've been grooming this guy for two years, teaching him, you know, like communicating with him, having him learn our system, our culture, our terminology. Why would we, you know, and he's actually, Luca has a huge upside, right? Like he has an upside just as high as any of those guys, other guys that you're talking about here. And yeah, Collins is a little bit more physical, Markinen's bigger, right? So um, it's it's really over, if, I, if we're talking about incorporating shooting, I would say yes. I would say that if you're looking at the three-point problem and you're thinking, okay, can Collins come in here and help us? Can Markinen come in here and help us? Or should we just give Luca his deserved opportunity to go out and play? I would say give it to Luca and let's look to, you know, focus our money somewhere else if that's just the issue. Now, I think Collins and Markinen bring a lot to the table, um, but Luca could very well be a starter next season. And, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say he starts over Keldon. I would like to see both of them in the game. Uh, but if only one of them has to be in the game to start, you know, this season having Keldon Johnson in the starting lineup was something that was necessary, right? He brought the juice, the energy. But I think if we want to talk about spacing the floor, well, who does that better? Um, we'll have to wait and see until until Luca gets the real run to show us. But it should be Luca. Um, if that's what we're talking about.